This is Woke Center. Well, no, not this, but last night's Sports Center at 10 o'clock was Woke Center. Hey, everybody, Brickhouse here, and um, I saw this yesterday. I didn't say anything about it, but I'm going to say something about it today. Uh, la on Thursday night, this is last night, ESPN, owned by Disney, keep that in mind, decided to virtue signal with an all-female edition of Sports Center to focus only on women's sports. You know, NFL training camp started. Nah, we're not going to worry about that. Major League Baseball's in full swing. Nah, we're not going to worry about that. Our focus is going to be on the cringe women's U.S. national soccer team and the WNBA. And maybe some other women's sports. And get, don't get me wrong, I got nothing against women's sports. Nothing against women's sports. Nothing against women hosting Sports Center. But this whole virtue signaling to those on the left, to those progressives, to those liberals. Um, it gets a little much. Now, I came across this on Breitbart. On Thursday night, last night, ESPN will present an all-female version of Sports Center focusing only on women's sports. Indeed, their virtue signaling to the left will go all in on the women-only concept because not only will the on-air staff be all-female broadcasters, and it was Nicole Briscoe and... uh. L. Duncan, I believe. Hey, I like Nicole Briscoe and L. Duncan. I think they're great. But all the producers, camera people, and other off-air staff will also be an all-female affair. That isn't all. During commercial breaks and between reports, ESPN will air ads and segments to flog the financial services firm Ally, which has entered into a sponsorship deal with ESPN over Disney, owner Disney, which calls for 90% of its spending on the network to benefit women's sports reporting. The game has changed recently, says Stephanie Maraschino. Allies head of sports and entertainment marketing variety reported, we are not talking about the athletes, we are talking about everything around the game, the business, the economics of the teams. It isn't exactly clear how much actual commitment ESPN is putting into women's sports, though... Not only is the network airing this all-female broadcast late in the evening at 11 p.m. Eastern, that's 10 my time. That's uh, 9 o'clock for you guys out there on the West Coast. But it seems suspiciously like just ticking off a box and giving a new sponsor what it wants by floating this all-female indulgence. That's exactly what it is. Let's kowtow to the advertisers. What the advertisers want, the advertisers get. Last year, a poll found that only 30% of sports fans said they are watching or intend to watch more women's sports. But numbers for men's sports will swamp that of women's sports. To use soccer as an example, since it is a worldwide sport, men's games far outsell women's games. This year, FIFA claimed that it sold 1.5 million tickets to the 2023 Women's World Cup, though those numbers are still tiny compared to men's soccer. If reported that it sold more than 3 million tickets to last year's Men's World Cup. So, guys, tell me what you think. Do you think ESPN is just throwing some breadcrumbs out there to those on the left, the progressives, the liberals, uh, to appease an advertiser who just made a substantial um, investment in ESPN, Disney? Comment down below. While you're at it, please, if you would, smash that like button. 
Uh, subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell to get notified when my content becomes available here on YouTube. And as always, I thank you for taking the time out to watch, the time to tune in, and I will see you later. Thank you.